Hey everyone, today we're going to be installing a JB4, I believe this is a G5, onto a N54 335i really quickly. I can usually do this in about 10-15 minutes, so follow on the steps. Step one is going to be removing all your cowl and all that, which you'll need an 8mm for. This car doesn't have a cowl, so we're going to skip that step. And our second step is going to be taking off this uh, DME cover. How to do that, you got a few tabs, you slide this over to unlock it. That one's missing, you slide that one over to unlock it. Then you have two tabs over here. You basically push them to the side with your fingers. Like that, this one's broken, so this one comes right off, but you got the hint, okay? Next step, we gotta get access to the DME, so we gotta remove all these connectors. One, two, three, and four. This one, I'm gonna use my pocket screwdriver, which is my second tool you'll need for the video. And to do that, all you gotta do is lightly pull up on these wires, Push in, push in, and it comes right up, all right? Lightly pull, push in, push in. Oops, I didn't grab the right one. Lightly pull, push in, push in, comes up, push in. You get the hint, all right? And five. There you go, all right? So those are out the way. Next, we're gonna pull up on the DME itself. Push down on that, pull up on that. There's two little clips as such. And we're gonna remove the connectors for the DME just by sliding this out. This is one. That's two. And these connectors come right out, okay? To install the JB4, we are gonna be hacking into the wiring, all right? So on the larger connector, you got the white connect, uh, the white whatever harness on the right side and the black harness on the left side. All you gotta do, again, you're gonna grab the wire, kind of give forward pressure. This little tab, just move it out the way a little bit and then it comes right out as such. Boom, and like that. All right, that's the first connector. This connector, since it's smaller, we'll have to remove this sliding mechanism. How to do that is you just take your screwdriver, put it right here, pry out a little bit. Same thing on the other side, pry out a little bit, and it comes right out, as so. Same thing, you got the gray one on the left side, black one on the right side. Give a little tension to the wire. And right over here to the side. And these two come right off as well, all right? Once you get those off, you're now ready to put the JB4, uh, tap the JB4 into the harness. <clears throat> this one was the left side one, right? So you see this arrow, how it's going to the left, how this arrow is pointing, saying, hey, this goes in like that. You want this arrow to be facing the same way when going in. So it gets kind of confusing because people want to do this, but you see how the arrows are facing opposite ways? You just got to flip this around so the arrows are facing the same way. You match up the pins and just put it in like that. That one goes like that. Where's the other connector? This one right here. Again, the arrows have to be facing the same way, like that. So I'm going to go like that, rotate it 180. Boom. All right. We are now tapped in. Now you take this and you put it back in to the connector. So the black one again is on the right side, pushes in. Gray one's on the left side, pushes in. All right. That side's done. I could put this back on. I'm going to keep it slid off and you're good to go on that side. All right. Repeat the steps again on this one. This is black one on the left side. I'm gonna take this one, make the arrows face the same way. Okay, there you go. Some of these pins are bent. This is a used one, but. And this last but not least, this connector. Arrows are facing the same way now. That goes in and Slide these back in place. This one goes here. That one goes here. 
that easy. We're pretty much done with almost the whole install. Our last step to install this is hacking into the power wire for the JB4 so it can get power. We're gonna go to this connector right here. All we gotta do is same thing, slide, slide, move this connector out the way. Ooh. There you go. And then we're gonna slide this piece up right over here. I think I just want to slide up like that, okay? Pin two is what we're gonna be hacking into. So pin two is right over there. If I flip this connector, we know that pin two is this one right over there. So the top left if you're facing it this way. All right, that's just how it works. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna take off this little cover. It's supposed to be gentle. I always break them, but there you go. I didn't break, oh, I always do that. I get it off and then I break it. It's okay though, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> do you see that little pin right there? Can you see that in the camera? You wanna zoom in on it? Right over there, all you gotta do is push down on that and slide backwards, all right? Or you could push down on that and then pull back and voila, it comes off that easily, okay? So now you can probably see it a little better. All you're doing is pushing down on that so it releases itself. Then you're gonna put the JB4 one in place. So you got the same little connector, put it back into the pin two. Gonna push that all the way up. Okay, this someone kind of jerry-rigged it, but there you go. Okay, did you hear that clip? I already clicked back in place, I know I'm in. And for the factory one, you're just gonna tap it into the JB4 harness, all right? Correction, you put it on this one. I actually put it on that one. It's that simple. We're gonna put this back in its spot. And put the connector back in. And the JB4 is pretty much installed. Let's put the ECU back in. Uh, put these connectors back in. So again, raise the DME up, put the connectors back in, you just push in a little bit, and then when you push into the this portion, it'll bring it down and seal it in place. Right, ah, just like that. I'm gonna put that down, connect this, connect this. Connect this, connect this. Last but not least, connect this, okay? Now, before we put all this back in, I wanna make sure it works, so let's go to the car. Oh, eight minutes. I'm recording a video. You should be able to put the key in, hit the steering wheel controls. Would you mind holding the phone? Yeah. Thank you. Hit the steering wheel controls. We had a little hiccup because these buttons stopped working, but we just got it to work. So the JB4 is attached correctly, minus obviously my power wire issue. We're gonna see if the car starts. There you go. So we know the JB4 is working. We just gotta fix this button control now, but right here you can see, you can go through all the menus and etc. All right, we know everything's working. Our last step is just to tuck everything away. Usually I like sliding this in here, the little compartment, trying to push everything down. And then the cover goes back on again. This cover is broken, but you got the idea. Move it, move it around. You can get it to fit perfectly. It just takes a little bit of messing around with. And uh, yeah, put your cowl back on if you have that. This clip, this thing right here will clip in. That clips in, you just push down like that. Push down on that really hard with the dumb on all four corners. Lock this in place and you're done with the install. Everything will work. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments about installing JB4, I know I kind of did it quickly, but if you want me to break it down more, whatever, just comment below and we'll stay in touch.
Till next time. Peace. Damn.